to answer your question, Super Burning Godzilla, the answer is no. Because I am not like some of these other kites, you're like, um, GMK Ghidorah, or Shimo, or Space God, or Gamera. I'm not like any of them, so I can't use that Hollow Earth energy for myself. I can only use it for my weapons. Which, that got a lot of fans to think that Scar King has able to use the Hollow Earth energy for himself. So, damn Kong, I'm loving your new look. Thanks. Like my Beast Glove? Yeah, is that it? Eight? Is that an 8-pack you got there? What can I say? I've been working out. Wait until Kaiju Girl Kong sees my new look. Alright, we're back. Whew. That was a lot of fun. Hell yeah, it is. You're definitely going to get used to this, minus one. I don't think I am. Oh, hey, guys. You you good, son? Yeah, I'm good. Just a little bruised up, that's all. And what's crazy is that some people believe that Scar King has used the Hollow Earth energy for himself. Wait, what? Look at the question that Sir Burning got the left. Oh. Yeah, I mean, Colin can use Hollow Earth energy for his weapon, but the thing is, I think it won't work on that. On like a Titanus, like any mammal, well, unless they are a behemoth or King Caesar or whatever. Plus, yeah, I don't think there's any proof that Star King and Kong can use like the Hollow Earth energy for themselves. Anyways, moving on. Question for. Oh, Godzilla. How strong is your atomic breath? Well, I mean, it's strong and all, but it's not that strong. Uh, let's say it rivals... Zilla Jr.'s atomic breath. It's powerful, yes, but not that powerful. Okay. I dare Rodan to tell Jubia that he's going that he's going to What was that about? Uh was my so super fine words cat. Nice. I dare Rodan to tell Jubia that he's going to cook her and have a the kaiju eat her for dinner. But it's a joke. I kind of wish you didn't say that last part, because right now I'm actually kind of hungry for Juvia. Well, let's just uh, go. Rodan, you know what to do. Alright, then. Hey, Juvia. What? I'm going to cook you and have the kaiju eat you for dinner. <gasps> Man, just joking. We still need you around. Oh. Even though we hate to admit it. I kind of wish that you did not say that. So right now, I'm, I'm actually hungry. Maybe next time. Hey, Kong. How did the film film fighting against Kamazots and the Kraken? Uh, what? Okay, I think this is confusing. I think I'm trying to say, how is it... How do you feel fighting Kamasauts and the Kraken? Well, I mean... Oh, would you look at that? My arch nemesis is back. So, wait, I thought I was your arch nemesis. Well, you still are, Remark Prime. But... 
Scar King is like possibly my number one arch nemesis. I hope you die in the new Empire, Scar King. I hope you die. Um, I guess within a way, Kamasox was more of a challenge, actually, more than the Kraken. So I'll admit, the Kraken did got some good hits on me. But if I'm being completely honest with you, Space Final Wars, I think Kamasox honestly put up a better fight than, than, uh, freaking than the Kraken did. Because if Kamasox kept on screaming, there's a chance that my ear, that my hearing would have been severely damaged. That, and I would probably be dead. So I wouldn't be able to hear anyone coming. Hell, if that actually did happen, then most likely a legendary would probably kill me back in GDK. Okay then, next question. I dare Rodan to drop Heisei Godzilla in his burning form when Destroya, King Ghidorah, and Bagan are standing. Oh yeah, uh, Bagan is not here because I think I heard that he's busy trying to get his new look. So, he's not here. But Destroy and King Ghidorah are... Okay. <sighs> okay, it's a Godzilla. Which one do you want first? The dragon or the overgrown crab? Overgrown crab. Okay, here you go. Ouch! Well, I guess... Good thing that didn't happen to me. Me and my big fat three mouths. Man, that felt good. Too bad Baggin wasn't here. Yeah. Question for everyone. How would you react if you see a world where humans and kaiju are getting along? Um... To answer that question, we would be shocked to see a world where humans and kaiju are getting along. Like the military is no longer attacking kaiju and the kaiju are no longer attacking cities. If you think about it, God, we all think about it, the humans started this whole war in the first place. Because of their damn nuclear bombs. Yeah, a lot of the humans are since think that we are the bad guy, all reality, they are the bad guys. I mean, hell, they created a weapon that supposedly killed him, but instead created that ugly ass overgrown crap over there. Hey. But if it weren't for the humans, we wouldn't get Mecha Kevin or Kiru. Uh, I'm not excited to admit it, but Mecha Kevin wouldn't really be here. Mecha Kevin and Kiwi wouldn't really be here if it weren't for the humans. So I guess they're not that bad. I oh god, oh god, King Ador is gonna hate this one. But, oh yeah, read it out loud, read it out loud so we can hear you. I dare King Ghidorah to say one nice thing to Biolante. What? You want me to say one nice thing about that traitor? Just do it, King Ghidorah. Plus, it's a dare. You can't resist the power of the dare. Ugh. I hate this. Yeah, so then I was like, Biolante. Yes, Lord King Ghidorah? I bet your next plan will be your show, uh, King Ghidorah. Are you okay, my lord? Your, your, so, uh, uh, oh my god, this is gonna be good. This is gonna be good. Rodan, grab the camera. I'm already recording. You're so... 
You're so... You're so... You're so... What? Are you okay? I've never seen you act like this way, my lord. What are you doing? You're... You're... Cool. Did, did he just say what I think he said? He said you're cool. Now I'm gonna go hang myself. What the hell did I just witness? Question for Gamera. If you had a human job, would you like to choose to be in charge of an orphanage, watching over kids, and help them find a home, or be a babysitter? If I had a human job, I would choose an orphanage. Because seriously, there's like, what, well, like the good half of the human population that flat out doesn't really take care of their own damn kids. Like seriously, if you don't want kids, then what was the point of you even having them in the first place? Plus, it's really effed up. There's like, what, well, like how many orphan kids around the world? Like at least a hundred? Or millions? Like, that's just that up. So, to answer your question, orphanage. For sure. Question for Kong. How do you feel about the new Kong, known as Scar King? Oh, you mean my arch nemesis who's right here? I'm gonna say, the, I'm gonna say this. He's gonna give me one hell of a fight, that's for damn sure. Oh, I can't wait to beat your to beat you up for the new em when the new empire comes out. Just you wait, I'm gonna take that throne of yours and I'm gonna show you what a real king can do. Bring it on then, monkey boy. Bring it on then, baldy. No my god, me bald. I dare agree to hug or and say thank you for everything that you did. Once again, um Super Flowers doesn't have the energy to do the fairy tale characters. So you're just gonna hear him say it. Thank you for everything you did. You're welcome, Gray. Okay, so Hey guys, Ultima, I remember in your third form, you used a flesh to whip around, to wrap around a bomb, stopping it from hitting you. My question is, do you still have that ability or no? The answer is yes, he still has that ability. Question for God's Old Final Wars. Which one of my videos do you like on my channel? The ones that are funny, or the ones, or one of them where I get beat up by my rivals? I don't really know because we don't really. I haven't really seen all of your videos, so I might have to look back on that. 